So as a mother, do you find that you struggle at all with being a mom and a sex symbol, or do you think that you can do both? I know you can do both. I I always find it so fascinating that it's like as soon as you become a mom, like you're no longer supposed to be your own person. You're not allowed to have your own wants or your own desires and heaven forbid that you're sexual. But it's like what what action took place to create this beautiful little thing, right? Like that was that was sex. Like they're they they exist together and even on like a spiritual level, when you talk about like the energy of sex, like that's the energy of creation, right? Like creation and creativity. Um, and I don't understand how we, I don't know, have such a problem with them coexisting, right? Because it's the same thing. Um, I think for you to be like a happy, functioning, well-rounded person, especially if you're you're married, you have to let that part of you live and thrive even, right? Like that's such a quintessential part to having that healthy dynamic is maintaining that spark. Like I don't want a roommate. Like I want like a passionate love affair with my husband until we're old and one of us can't have sex anymore, right? Like <laughs> I think that's so, so beautiful and so important. And um, when it comes to – like having a well-adjusted child, I mean, all of the research even suggests that them seeing affection displayed between their parents, like physical affection. And obviously, again, like there's always going to be someone like kissing, right? We're not go yeah. going at it in front of the kid. Yeah. Um, yes. But like loving affection actually makes them more in tune with their emotions and makes them have healthier romantic relationships down the line. So I think when you try to say, okay, I had a kid and I need to just like button up and let that part of me die. I think it's not only going to be detrimental to you and your marriage, but you're also doing your child a huge disservice. Um, Mm -hmm. And then I know some men, I guess, too, like especially if they're there for the birth, that there is a problem with them, I guess, like seeing their wife as a sexual object before. And it's like you kind of have to learn to compartmentalize, right? Like the same person that just gave birth or is that that's like giving your kid a bath is not the person that you're taking out on a date and it's not the person that you're being intimate with in your bedroom so I think you have to be able to like define those roles and put those in like certain buckets and you know and separate that um and I I don't know I mean like you just have to figure out how to reframe that because I know some people some men think it's like traumatic when witnessing the birth but like reframe that like your wife just did something freaking incredible and something so beautiful and she just created like perfection right like there is nothing more beautiful than creating a human life so just like trying to figure out what story you can tell yourself that makes you appreciate that moment instead of um it like ruining the way that you see your your spouse Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.